So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, just given the length of the question itself. So let's read it, starting one sentence at a time, making sure to write down any quantitative information that we read before moving on to the next sentence. So the first sentence here says, data set A consists of the heights of 75 buildings and has a mean of 32 meters. So I'm going to write that down as A. I'm going to probably put just 75 in parentheses here to represent that there are 75 data points. And I'm going to write down that the mean is equal to 32. The next sentence says, data set B consists of the heights of 50 buildings. Okay, so B, and there are 50 buildings in this data set. And the mean is 62 meters, so mean equals 62. The next sentence says, data set C consists of the heights of the 125 buildings from data sets A and B. Okay, so C is 125. And basically, it's going to be A plus B over the 125 to equal the mean. That's how we would find the mean for data set C. The question asks, what is the mean in meters of data set C? Okay, so how do I actually figure out what A and B are, right? So I know the mean from data set A. I know the mean from data set B. But how do I, you know, these are not the mean values I'm putting in here, right? So the way we find the mean of a data set is by adding all of the data points together, which in this case would be A plus B, and then dividing by the number of data points we have, which in this case is 125. So I can use this to figure out what A actually equals. For instance, if I said A represents the sum of all 75 heights from those 75 buildings, then that would mean that A divided by 75 equals 32, right? That's how you would find the mean, which would also mean that multiplying both sides by uh, 75 would help me to figure out what A actually equals. And again, A in this case is the sum of all 75 building heights. So I'll go to my calculator, 75 times 32 is 2,400. So now I know A equals 2,400. I'm gonna do the same thing for B. Um, with B, we know that if B represented all of the heights or the sum of all the heights of all 50 buildings, then that means that B divided by 50 would equal 62, right? That's how we find the mean. And again, if I multiply both sides by 50, I should get just what B is equal to. So back to my calculator, 62 times 50 is equal to 3,100. So B equals 3,100. So for C, I'm just going to add A plus B, so 2,400 plus 3,100, all divided by 125 should give me the mean for data set C. So adding all this together, 2,400 plus 3,100 equals 5,500, divided by 125 equals 44. So the mean value is 44. That's how we find the answer here. Um, that's the answer to question number 20.